Last night, shortly after 10.40 p.m., officers from the homicide squad attended on Dancing Avenue, sorry, Dancing Street and Morningside Avenue, and uh, this is an investigation of the shooting of more than 20 citizens who have been attending a gathering in the uh, Dancing Street complex. Two people have died from injuries sustained, a 14-year-old female, her name is Cheyenne Charles of Toronto, a 23-year-old male named Joshua Gasse Ajax. Their next kin has been notified. The crime scene is currently being examined by the homicide squad, members of the Forensic Identification Services, Traffic Services. A complete canvas of the area and uniformed officers from across the city is currently underway. Witnesses are being interviewed and video surveillance is being gathered throughout the area. My understanding from the investigation is that upwards of 100 people have been attending the Centaur party that preceded the shooting. Officers who attended the scene last night observed the chaotic with people fleeing on foot and in more vehicles. This is completely understandable due to the nature of the event and circumstances. However, there's no doubt in my mind that there were persons in attendance at this function we know the identity of those responsible for the murders and woundings of these citizens. It's to these people who tend to part that are now appealing to In regard to the young age of the innocent victims who lost their lives and the sheer number of wounded individuals, those who are witnesses or who have the information can make their family, friends, and neighborhoods safer by speaking with investigators Homicide squad. There's no doubt that people at this function are also taking photographs on smartphones, uh, recording video on their phones throughout the evening. The Homicide Squad has a dedicated web page for the Stalin Homicide and Movies for anyone with videos or photographs to upload them. The Homicide Squad encourages these people to also provide their personal details. They're not mandatory. Any witness who wants to speak with me can contact me directly at 416-808-7405. The Homicide Squad at 416-808-7400. 43 Division, Crime Stoppers at 222 TIPS. Or click the post a tip on the TPS Facebook page. The only thing that I will add uh, in addition to uh, was stated by the chief this morning. We do have two additional persons who have come forward and uh, have identified as people also injured. We've been shot last night. Injuries that are being treated at the uh, hospitals. How many victims do you have totally at this point? Injured? Two deceased. 23 who have been shot and one not to the chief. Yes. Were the two victims that were killed, are they from the area? Were they from the same area? Um, one was from Ajax and one in the vicinity, but not here. Are the two deceased part of the 23 shot or is that 25? Sorry. Are the two deceased part of the 23 shot or is that 25? 23 shot, two are deceased, and one who was from Ajax. So 25 people shot for one? Yes. Okay. Um, any indication of number of shooters at this point? Uh, that's something that we're still investigating. Um, there has been some witnesses who have come forward and everything that they say has been investigated and uh, I'll be talking about that by the end. So, we also have forensic evidence which is going to help for us in the right direction in regards to the number of shooters. There was some report that there was a, a young man in custody. Are you getting any cooperation from that person? There isn't a young man in custody, there is a person of interest, and that person is still being treated as a person of interest. If there's any change in the statute. Not a person of interest. I'm not going to comment on that. Okay. Um, so, questions? Do you know whether or not either of the shooters 
Sorry, Jack. Do you have any indication as to whether one of the shooters may have been shot? Again, that's part of the investigation that I would be commenting on. Could we have the correct spelling of the officer's last name? Like the older victim? Sorry, of the, of the older victim's yes. last name? Surname is spelled Y-A-S-A-Y. Did you this morning mention gang involvement? Can you speak to that at all? Well, in any case like this, that's certainly something that we're going to look into and investigate. Any kind of gang affiliation will be looked into. I'm not going to mention any gang names this time. It's very uh, young investigation. There's a lot of work that's still needs to be done. Some people out there are saying that uh, this party is being held as an annual event and that there's some violence there in the past. Do you know anything about that? Again, uh, that's an event that's it's unknown to me and it's something that I'll work on. How old is the person of interest? I'm not going to mention Yeah? I'm not going to Injured being blocked? Sort of. People who are injured are getting blocked? Yes, generally, yes. As much as they can be in the circumstances. Are you able to tell us what the good news for us is doing after the red was lost and then that there was a change that was occurring to some people? That was the thing that they were saying about the response. So I just did. I can't comment on that. I'm the wrong side squad, so once I'm notified, I get there as quickly as I can. Everything that I saw from 43 to 50 was well in order by the time I got there. Do you know what the homeowner's is? It's not my understanding that the homeowner's is in the past. Do you know the condition of the toddler that was shot? Uh, my understanding is that she caught this to Is it correct that the uh, young girl who was killed actually lived next door? Yes, that's correct. Do you know the Actually, the next one, I'm not going to comment on Okay, thank you very much. This information will be on our uh, website shortly. Thank you.